Hi, hello. Uh, welcome to our uh, YouTube channel. So we'll have another uh, video tutorial uh, on the analysis of rigid jointed frame or gable frame. Uh, this problem is uh, very similar to a passboard problem. Okay, so here we will analyze the uh, three, actually three hinge arcs here. Three hinges, nah? uh, due to wind forces only. Analyze. Nah? Okay, it's a problem. Uh, for the gable frame shown, the design wind force on the structure is computed as the product of the basic wind pressure P and the wind coefficient C. The wind force a pressure is a pressure if the coefficient is positive and suction if the coefficient is negative. Okay, so pressure meaning towards the structure. Suction is away from the structure. All right, so we are given the coefficient C1, C2, C3, C4. As you can notice, C1 is positive 0.8, but C2 up to C4 are all negative. So meaning it, the, the, the force is acting away, right? And the basic wind pressure is 1.44 kilopascals. L1 is 9, L2 is 9. H1 is 3 and H2 is 6 meters. And then we will consider 6 meters tributary width of the gable frame perpendicular to the drawing. That's 6 meters yun, perpendicular sa figure na ito. Yun yung ating tributary width. Alright, and then may nilagay siya dito. Kung na-notice ninyo, the, the drawing is uh, hinge here and roller here. Pero nakasa-add dito sa problem na sinabi niya, if the roller at B were changed to a hinge support and a hinge is added at D. So meaning magiging three hinge arc siya. Ganito na siya. Three hinges, a rigid jointed frame. Yun. Hinge at A, B, A and B and then hinge then at D. Yun. So calculate the following. The bottom line here is the total uh, the reactions at A and B. Yung iba dyan, mga additional uh, tanong na lang yan no so the reaction importante dito yung reaction ha huh? so the reactions at a and at b again this is similar to a board exam problem uh, yung choices i uh, i just made this a uh, multiple choice type all right so the wind is coming from the left sige uh, let's uh, compute the forces acting okay so the forces, sila sa, and this is how we compute it. The wind force is the product of the basic wind pressure and the tributary area. So let's start with this vertical member AB. The force here will be 1.44 times the coefficient is 0.8 times the tributary area is 6 meters by 6 meters. Kasi 6 meters yung spacing. Ha? 6 meters ang... Uh, uh, spacing niya, perpendicular to the figure. And that will act towards the structure kasi positive yung ating coefficient. So, ganun siya. 1.44 times 0.8 times 6. Yeah. So, times 6 na lang. No? Uh, ito yung intensity niya. So, intensity of force. Mamaya ako lang. Sorry, mamaya ako lang kumpitin yung total force. Intensity na lang muna. So, 1.44 times 0.8 times yung 6 na yan is not the height. But the tributary width, the length of this uh, loading perpendicular to the figure. So yung 6 na yan. So ito yung intensity ng loading na ito. 6.912 kN per meter. Alright. Dito naman sa inclined side BC, the intensity, the intensity is the same. Only that we will be using 0.1 as your coefficient. But this time, since this is negative, it acts away from the structure. Pag ganon siya, palabas siya. Huh? So 1.44 times 0.1 times 6. Again, that 6 is the width, tributary width natin, perpendicular to that length. So that's 0.864 kN per meter. Dito naman is uh, 1.728. I hope you're getting it already. 1.44 times 0.2 yung coefficient. Uh, negative, ano pa rin ha? Negative? Ito, negative pa rin. So this will be 1.44 times... Uh, 0.4, sorry, 0.4 yan. Kamali lang ako. 0.4 yan dapat. Uh, uh, times uh, 3 point. Uh, sorry, this should be 0.4. All 
Alright. So, point 0.4. Ialit ko lang. So, 3.456 kilonewton per meter. <coughs> okay. Yun na yung force dito sa other side. Okay. Now, notice here that this is acting along the length. Because that's wind. Ganon yung nature ng wind. Wind pressure is always perpendicular to the surface where it acts. Kaya ito yung pag natin dito. Okay? You can solve this problem na ganito yung ano natin, presentation. Pero that is very inconvenient. Na? Madaling i-resolve na lang natin to. Kasi mamaya, kung if you will have it like that, you will eventually resolve it into vertical and horizontal. Pwede mong i-diretso yan. Instead of drawing it like that, gawin mo na lang siyang ganito. I will repeat. Instead of like that, no, the intensity is 0.864 here. The intensity of the mandate is 1.728. You can change it to like this. The same intensities. The same intensities. Pareha lang yan. Pwede mo ma-check yan. No? Pwede mong i-project. Gawin mo na lang projection. You can do that to anything that is acting normal. Any force acting normal to a surface. Pwede mong i-resolve direct so into components niya. Na? So, 3 meters yan, ito naman ay 9, and so on. So, this is more easier to compute. Okay? So, next, compute na lang natin yung mga forces. Na? So, compute natin yung total forces this time. Sige. So, here. Let's start from here. The total force, tawagin natin itong F1, that is equal to 6.912 times 6 meters. Ito yung height niya. Kasi kilonewton per meter yung intensity. 6.912 times 6. Ayun. 41.472. Yung F1 na yan. Alright? Okay, next. Yung F2 natin. Ito, tawagin natin itong F2. So, the value will be 0.864 kN per meter times 3. Okay. Ito. Ha? Ito naman. Dito, tawagin natin F3. Uh, uh, so that is 0.864 kN per meter times 9. Okay, times 9, 7.776. And so on. Ito lang tawagin natin F4. 1.728 times 9. Yun. Ito naman tawagin natin F5. Na? 1.728 again times 3. Okay? And tawagin natin itong F6. That will be... Uh, 3.456 times, sorry ha, point 2 ito ha. This is, uh, no, sorry, point 4 yan. 3.456 times 6. Okay. Okay, so we have our F6. Uh, okay, so point 4, F6. So F6 is 3.456 times 20.736. Okay. So, ginawa ko lang, ginawa ko lang siyang ano, resultant kasi para mas madali nyo maintindihan. Yeah, you may not know that. You may solve it directly. Okay, so that is 3 his arc. If you notice, we have a uh, total of 4 anons here. Dalawang reaction sa A, we have AV and uh, AH. And then, dalawang reaction din sa B. We have BV and our BH. So, apat na anon, then how can you solve this? Since we only have three, equ three, three equations that are readily available. Diba? So, I mentioned the process uh, horizontal zero, vertical zero, and moment. Diba? Okay. Our fourth equation, magagamit natin yung hints. Kasi hints at D, the moment at that is zero. That will provide you one additional equation, making it four lahat. So, this makes this structure determinate. Okay, sige, simula natin. By the way, wag yun ang problemahin yung direction ng mga reactions, ha? You don't have to do that. You don't have to mind that. Anyway, basta any direction will do. Uh, the answer will be fixed na lang once you have the final answer. Pag negative yung sagot na nakuha mo sa reaction, ang ibig sabihin nun, baliktad yung inasyon mo na direction. Ganun lang yun. Kaya, wag yun ang problemahin. Ano yung direction niya, assume natin. Alright, simula natin. Sa mention of moment about A0. So with that, baka bantay yung B tsaka A, ang masasolve natin dyan yung BB. Correct? Sige, subukan natin. We have, okay, yung F1 tsaka F6, baka bantay yan. Isabay na lang natin. F1 plus F6 times the moment arm is 3 meters. Ito. F1. Okay, ito naman yung F6. 
moment arm is three meters. And then, okay, next, uh, yung ating uh, F2 tsaka F5. Sabayin natin, F5 muna, minus F2. F5 minus F2. The moment arm is ito, 6 plus 3. 6 plus 3. Okay? So, yun. 5.184 minus 2.5. Itong F2 natin is 2.5 na ito. Times, okay, 6 plus 1.5. Hanggang from here up to here. Ah, baka pantay yung dalawa, F2 tsaka F5. Pinagsabay na lang natin para isang ano na lang, no? Isang equation, isang term na lang. Okay, next, your F3. So that will be minus. F3, 7.776. Galing ng A pa rin tayo, ha? Times 4.5. Ito. And your F4, minus pa rin, counterclockwise. Minus 15.552. The moment arm is 9 plus kalahati ng 9. That's 13.5. 9 plus 4.5. Alright? And then, minus BV times 18 equals 0. Yun. Okay? So, masosolve na natin yung B vertical. Very easy. Okay? Now, notice, nakakuha natin negative sign. Ha? Meaning, baliktad yung assumption natin. This should not be upward. That should be downward. Okay, ito yung ano dyan, ha? Pa uh, paraan dyan. Well, if this is not PowerPoint, maybe I could have changed the direction of BB. Easily. Pero if you don't want to do that, okay, kalimutan mo na lang yan. L never mind. Let it be acting upward. But do not forget, ha? Na yung sign talaga niya is, uh, ano, negative. Ha? Pero ang actual talaga niya is pababa. Anyway, after tayo sa absolute value, so 2.16. Pababa siya dapat. Okay, pababa siya dapat. 2.16, pababa. Or pakyat na negative 2.16. Pariho lang yan. Ah, pariho lang yan yung ending result nila. Double ligation. Pakyat din negative. So, pababa siya. Okay. So, may BB na tayo. Then, we can now solve the value of uh, uh, AB. Na? Summation of process vertical 0. So, we have summation of process vertical 0. AB plus BB equals okay, plus F3 plus F4 equal 0. AB plus BB plus F3 plus F4 equal 0. Look, ginamit ko dyan plus ha. Kaya AB plus BB but my BB I must use the negative sign. Ha? Kasi that should be the sign if you will be assuming an upward force. No? Ito yung dadaling ko ha. Ayan pwede kayo nalito. Hindi ko kasi chinese yung direction niya. Ayan, BB. So that will solve us the value of AB. And that is also negative. Ibig sabihin, pababa din yung ating AB. Pababa yung ating A vertical. Lahat yung dalawa ay pababa. Okay. So, kasi due to wind ito, no? So, oh, by the way, you have to understand that this is only due to wind. Hindi kasali yung weight ng structure. Huwag yung sabihin, nilipad yung structure. Nililipad yan, may weight yan. Kaya yung weight niya yung kokontra dyan sa upward forces na yan. Alright, so meron na tayong uh, A vertical and A horizontal. So paano natin ngayon solvin ang reactions horizontal? Kahit na ito na lang, BH or di kaya AH. So kung magsasummation of forces horizontal ka, you cannot do that na? kasi magiging dalawa agad yung anon mo. Na? Ang gagawin natin dito, gamitin natin ito. Magmomoment tayo sa D. Moment at the bilas na moment that D is zero. So, wag natin sabihin sa mention of moment. Be, uh, well, we can do that. But moment talaga, kasi the moment that D naman talaga is zero. When you take moment kasi at a point, you can either look to the left of that point or to the right of that point. Na? Let's look to the right side. Okay, moment to the right side of D. Makukuha natin yung BH. So, tinan natin. Okay, what are the forces involved? So, gawan, gamitan natin ng clockwise positive. Ha? Okay, una. BH times 9. So, okay? And then, uh, ito. Counterclockwise. Minus counterclockwise. F4 times 4.5. Ito na. And then, another minus F5. F5. F5 is, uh, saan ka na? 5.18. F5 times kalahati ng 3. 1.5. Minus pa rin. Another minus, F6, 20, okay, times, ano yan, 3 plus 1 half of 6, 3 pa rin, so 6, okay, 
And then another minus BV times 9. But take note, I have to bring the sign here, negative. I will repeat, I did not change the direction of this. Huh? Ganun pa rin. Kaya I have to bring that sign. Huh? Uh, I hope hindi kayo nalito. Should we have, should I change this to downward, then I should have used the positive sign and that should have been clockwise. Pariho din yung epekto niya. Okay. So with that, masolve natin yung B horizontal. 20.3. Okay. Yeah. I think this is the answer for part two. The third part here is the total horizontal force acting on the frame. And of course, that's very easy. That's simply the sum of F1 and F2. Ah, dalawa lang. Ah, F1 at saka F2. I'm ah, sorry. Sorry, sorry. F1, F2 minus F5 plus, okay, F1 minus F2 plus F5 plus F6. Sorry, hindi ko nakita. Ito nasa kalan. Okay, so F1 minus F2 plus F5 plus F6. And that will give you 64.8 kilo newtons. Okay? So, ito yung mga sagot niya. Huh? So, the answers are yun. Again, this is very similar to a past board exam. Okay? So, I hope uh, you learned something. Huh? So, yung technique ka lang sa mga video natin, we'll be posting videos from time to time. Huh? If you want to participate in solving, I would suggest that Bago nyo panoorin, may problem doon, pwede nyo i-post mo na, sabihin nyo mo na, and then, uh, ano, uh, practice nyo mag-solve. Ideal to sa nagre-review. Kung saan mo kayo nagre-review. Ah? So yung pagpasa, nasa sa inyo talaga yan. Yung mga ganitong tutorial tool na lang ito. Okay? So, I hope you like our uh, video, you learn something. Please comment, ayos spots na lang, if you like our, if you learn something. Ah? So give us encouragement to upload more videos. And please don't forget to click subscribe. Alright? So, so thank you so much. So please subscribe so that you will get be, uh, you will get updated on our new videos being downloaded. And comment below are your spots if you like the video. Okay? See you in our next uh, videos.